No shame. No shame. Zero. Lots of shame. Over 50 you're running. I you already took care of the marching thing.
Bonjour, good morning and welcome. I am Corporal Alex Perube and I am with Sergeant Frida Fong and we will be your Masters of Ceremonies this morning. Bonjour, good morning et bienvenue. Je suis le Caporal Alex Perube et je suis avec Hello, Sergeant welcome. Frida Fong. Nous serons vos Maîtres de Ceremonies ce matin. I'm here with my Sergeant colleague and we will be your Masters of Ceremonies. Hello, Dacia. Voici Sergeant Frida Fong. Je suis Corporal Alex Perube. The two of us will be MC service, for today's please ceremony. Please turn off your cell phones. Comme nous sommes sur le point de commencer le service, veuillez éteindre vos téléphones cellulaires. To begin the service, ask you to turn off your cell phones. de ces procédures, veuillez vous abstenir d'enregistrer de prendre des photos pendant le service, à moins que vous ne soyez un photographe ou un média désigné. We'd ask you to put away your cell phones unless you're a photographer. The solemn nature of these proceedings. Please refrain from recording or taking pictures during the, the service unless you're a designated photographer or media. The RSMP would like to respectfully acknowledge that our gathering and work today is happening on the traditional territories of the Wumothquium people. The service will begin with the marching on of the Gidon. The Gidon is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police consecrated regimental color. It bears the theater honors awarded to the Northwest Mounted Police, the Royal Northwest Mounted Police, and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for service alongside the military in times of armed conflict. It is customary for the Gidon to be carried on the occasion of a regimental funeral 
and draped on an altar of drums. Le service débutera par la marche présentant le guidon. Le guidon est le drapeau Nous régimentaire consacré de la gendarmerie, de la gendarmerie royale du Canada. Il porte la décoration d'opérations décernées de la police à cheval du Nord-Ouest. La Gendarmerie royale à cheval la Gendarmerie royale du Canada pour le service aux côtés des militaires en temps de conflit armé. La coutume veut que le guidon soit porté à l'occasion de funérailles régimentaires et de la paix sur un hôtel de temps. Yi Shi Chang Yi Jun Chi Li Ru Chang Kai Shi Ceremony Jun Shi Shi Chanada Hua Jia Qi Jing De Shen Shen Jun Tuan Yen Se Jun Qi Ji Lu Jia Chanada Hua Jia Qi Jing Chai Wu Zhuang Chong Tu Qi Jian Yu Jun Dui Yi Qi Zhuo Chan De Jian Chang Rong Yu An Jia Chuan Tong Jun Tuan Jiang Li Yi Shi Shang Jun Qi Jing Chang Hou Jiang Fan Jai Shen Wu Tan Shang at this time, please stand for the marching on of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Guidon, followed by the procession and Constable Yang's family.
party, prepare to inward pass. We will begin the ceremony with the singing of our national anthem. Please remain standing and remove your headdress. For those in uniform today, saluting is not required when your headdress is removed. I invite Constable Destiny Simons to sing our national anthem. Please be seated. We are here today to honor our fallen hero, Constable Shaylin Yang of Burnaby Detachment, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and to recognize the ultimate sacrifice she has made in the line of duty to keep our community safe. Thank you for joining us today. Your prayers and acts of kindness have touched us and demonstrated your support and the respect you have for our members and their families. 
For that, thank you. Merci de vous être joints aujourd'hui à nous. Vos prières et vos actes de gentillesse nous ont touchés et ont démontré votre soutien et le respect que vous avez pour nos agents et leurs familles. Merci. Je voudrais maintenant demander à l'aumônier du détachement de Burnaby, Patrick Tracy, de prononcer le discours d'ouverture. I would now like to call uh, upon Burnaby chaplain Detachment's to chaplain, Patrick Tracy, for the opening remarks. As one of 36 RCMP chaplains called to care for our members, in E-Division, British Columbia, it is an honor to stand before you today. Simone, Robin, Peter, Sylvia, Schilling, Elvin, Christopher, Carolyn, and Ash, I want to thank you on behalf of all present for your heartfelt gestures in sharing the loss of Shailen with us in the greater police, law enforcement, and first responder family. You're also permitting the community and our nation at large to share in this tragedy and thereby offer heartfelt condolences, and for that we are grateful. In a few moments, we'll be invited into a more personal understanding of who Shailen was and is from a family member a family friend, and a colleague. For a moment, however, I would like to ask to acknowledge just how Shailen built her life, culminating with her career as a police officer within the RCMP. From being involved in various forms of martial arts as a young person, to working in agencies significantly involved with being present for people in their time of need, RCMP Victim Services in Richmond, BC Cancer and Canadian Blood Society. Upon the start of her career with our detachment, each time Shay would have left the building into the police parking lot, she would have walked by these words prominently placed on the wall by the door. Respect, professionalism, accountability, honesty, and compassion. Respect was demonstrated by her clear regard for those she served. Professionalism, Shay's passion to show how to show up as herself, being the authentic person that she was. Accountability, her capacity to answer to those she served without reserve. Honesty, Shay's ability to be an authentic professional at all times. And compassion. Shay demonstrated kind consideration for those she encountered on both sides of the badge. Now, I served as a police officer for over two decades and will be the first to tell you that these core values are not only the mark of a professional, but a necessity. And Constable Shailen Yang epitomized these core values. Shea appeared for each shift bringing her most excellent self simply because of the DNA of her character. There is, however, another reason Shea could consistently be present in the way she did, that being a seamless supporting cast of family, friends, and colleagues. She was loved along her journey by those too many to name. You know who you are. Some were workmates, some volunteer colleagues, and then family members. Thank you for all who have walked with Shailen along her journey, and for some of you who have run with her along her journey to policing, to the RCMP, community members, work colleagues, and particularly Simone. Shay's heart was won by Simone, and for you and your family members present, we share your astonishing loss. I wish peace upon your family.
Thank you, Chaplain Tracy. Merci. Constable Yang's family has asked for a musical selection to be played by the E Division RCMP Pipes and Drums. Thank you, Pipe Major. Here with us today are Jamie Simpson and Ash Tan, who will pay tribute to Shaylin on behalf of their families. Jin Tian, Jamie Simpson, Hun, Ash Tan, who will be speaking on behalf of Shaylin's family to pay their tribute. We're here with Jamie Simpson and Ash Tan. They will pay tribute I would invite to Jamie Shailen Simpson and her family. to offer the first tribute on behalf of the Hart family. Jamie. We are here today to mourn a life tragically lost and to honor that life. My partner and I met Shay in 2019. Simone and Shay married in February 2020. They built a life together, a loving home. They adopted an adorable puppy, Babs. We have known Simone since she was a little girl. Let me start by saying it is an honor to have known Shay and an honor to speak to you on behalf of Simone's family. Constable Shaylin Yang. <clears throat> Shay was principled, principled in a way that helped people around her be better, do better, be more compassionate be less judgmental. Shay had the unusual quality of making every room that she was in a better place, and yet was often the quietest one in that room. She listened a lot. She thought deeply. And when she spoke, people listened. Shay was kind, observant, warm, strong, gentle. Shay was never one to draw attention to herself, but she was the kind of person you wanted to know more about. Shay preferred the rain. 
She was cool beyond measure, a basketball player, a martial arts artist, a medal winner in jujitsu. She was humble. She empowered others. Black was Shay's favorite color. At her wedding, she wore white trainers with little red hearts and a red tuxedo. At her graduation in red serge, she shone. Shay was driven to succeed. She knew what she wanted and went for it. Her dream was to join the RCMP. She believed in helping people. In the early days of her RCMP training, she wanted to leave. She missed Simone terribly. So every two weeks, for six months, Simone went to Regina. Troop 8 at depot. Shay was anxious about completing the training. It was challenging. But Shay worked really hard. She watched as some of her classmates dropped out, even into the final weeks. Through the shared experience of depot, strong bonds were formed, bonds that last forever. At graduation, the new, the new RCMP officers spread out across the country and are assigned trainers, mentors, and are nurtured. Shea was assigned to the Burnaby Detachment. She was thrilled. Simone and her family were thrilled. More strong bonds formed. Life was perfect. She worked temporary rotations with the outreach team and had recently been extended in her role. The outreach work was extremely important to Shay. Outre the outreach work was a perfect fit for her. She was loving yet firm and treated everyone the same. When someone was at their lowest, most vulnerable, she was the officer that they needed. She brought love and strength and compassion without judgment. She believed that policing isn't a career one chooses for the money, but a career with huge benefits. And that is the caring and strong relationships, the camaraderie. She always felt that the RCMP had her best interests at heart, that they were looking after her and setting her up to succeed. Those relationships, which started at Depot, grew stronger, and more relationships formed, more close friendships. Shea cherished all of you. And it was these strong bonds that pulled you to Shea's side on October 18th and pull you here today. This gives the family great comfort. Simone's family wishes to thank the RCMP for taking such good care of them. They have the utmost respect for the RCMP, who have been by their side, an extension of the family, for every step of this extremely painful journey. The RCMP has gone above and beyond, all while grieving themselves. The family says, thank you. The outpouring of support from law enforcement and first responders is incredibly moving, heartwarming, and comforting. We admire you for the work you do and appreciate that you drove as fast and as hard as you could to be by Shay's side. Thank you all. I asked the family, what are your thoughts about the outpouring of condolences from around the globe? Heartfelt gratitude. We are overwhelmed. To the extended family, 
of Shea and Simone in Taiwan and the United States, we share your immeasurable grief. We feel this connection deeply and hold you all in our hearts. Farewell, our precious, dear Shea. I would now like to invite Ash Tan to pay tribute on behalf of the Yang family. Ash. Shailen Yang was always a hero. Her whole life was dedicated to helping others, from the community she served, to those in need, to her cousin going through a tough first year of university. All of us, all her family and friends who've loved her and have been so proud of her, we've always known this. And now, all of Canada and Taiwan and the whole world can join us in knowing this too. I also want you to know that Shea was more than a hero. She was human, deeply, deeply human. Everything she did was defined by her empathy, her compassion, and her belief that she could change the world. She helped everyone she could because she had faith in them. She had faith that we, each and every one of us, could make this world a better place. And she kept this faith in spite of all the struggles in her life. She faced so much adversity, the sort of adversity that can really change a person. But in all the time I knew her, she only ever grew warmer and kinder than before. Shea faced everything in life with a laugh and a smile and an open heart. And the world was all the brighter for it. And yes, it feels colder now without her here. But we are all human. We all share her capacity for compassion and strength and faith in a tomorrow that is better than today. The choices we make matter. What we believe in matters. It is my hope that what made Shailen Yang so extraordinary will become ordinary and that heroism will become synonymous with humanity because she has shown us all that there should not be a distinction between one and the other and that the union of the two is a beautiful thing indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie and Ash, for your touching words and a fitting tribute to Shailen. I would now like to invite Commissioner Brenda Lucky, Commissioner of the RCMP, to say a few words. J'aimerais maintenant inviter la commissaire Brenda Lucky, commissaire de la GRC, à dire quelques mots. RCMP, 
we speak. Good afternoon. I am so honoured to be here today to celebrate the life of Constable Shea Lin Yang. To Simone and Robin, Shilling, Alvin and Ash, Peter, Sylvia, Christopher and Carolyn, and to all her family, friends, colleagues at the Burnaby Detachment and across the RCMP, as well as the community of Burnaby, I extend my deepest and most heartfelt condolences to all of you. These are difficult and heartbreaking circumstances. Like all of you here today, I am devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of Shaylin. As we gather today to remember and celebrate Shaylin and her outstanding contributions to the RCMP and to her community, I hope that today's service brings some measure of comfort to you all. While Shay Lynn was just shy of three years service as a regular member with the RCMP, she previously volunteered both part-time and then full-time with Richmond's RCMP's victim services. This experience combined with her unwavering commitment to helping those who needed it the most made Shaylin a highly valued member of the Burnaby's mental health and homeless outreach team. I'm told Shaylin was quick to take on new challenges and career opportunities and could always be relied upon to help her co-workers. While at the RCMP Training Academy, Shaylin's resilience, perseverance and strong work ethic made her stand out as a dedicated cadet. She carried those traits into her work as a regular member, where she was known for taking on many files, as many as she could handle. I spent many years of my career working at DEPO, the, the RCMP's training academy, and have seen many cadets pass through our doors in, pursu in pursuit of their dream of becoming a Mountie, like Shaylin. One of Shaylin's trainers shared that she was an absolute joy to see every day and that she was, quote unquote, legit. Her dedication, both admired and respected. Many cadets and police officers say it, but she really wanted to help people, and the work she was doing sure proves that. By all accounts, Shay Lynn had the potential to go as high as she wanted in the RCMP, and we spoke today with her family about what a bold woman she was. And it's so profoundly tragic that Shaylin did not get the opportunity to fill this incredible potential. Shaylin helped others long before becoming a police officer. Her victim services colleagues said that if they had a dozen more Shaylins, they would have the best team ever. On Saturday mornings, Shay Lin would make herself available to help victims in need of a translator, offering her Mandarin language skills. The night before she left for depot, she worked her last volunteer shift with victim services, a remarkable testament to her dedication. Shay Lin exemplified the RCMP's core values, as Chaplain Tracy spoke about. She always acted with integrity. She showed respect to all. Her natural compassion for others was exceptional, and she was quick to take responsibility and most certainly served with excellence. Shaylin was much more than a valued member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. She was a loving spouse, daughter, niece, cousin, friend, and community member. At a young age, Shaylin moved to Canada from Taiwan. Her upbringing and community involvement helped guide her to become the gentle yet brave, empowering and courageous individual whose life mission was to help others. Shaylin's death is a stark reminder of the inherent dangers that all police officers face in the line of duty. Today, we are again reminded that we never know 
what the next call of service will bring. We will always remember Shaylin for her unflinching bravery and selflessness when faced with lethal danger on that day, October 18th, a date that will be forever etched in our memories. Shaylin, our colleague, our friend, died a hero, but she was a hero long before she paid the ultimate sacrifice. To all those in law enforcement here today, your sacrifices and dedication to community service and safety are immeasurably appreciated. Please continue to support each other as we grieve the loss of Shaylin, and let the support from all Canadians across the country lift you up and give you strength to persevere through these heartbreaking and tragic days. Thank you, ma'am. I would now like to invite Deputy Commissioner Dwayne McDonald, Commanding Officer of E-Division, to offer remarks. J'invite maintenant le sous-commissaire Dwayne McDonald, commandant de la division E, à prendre la parole. Deputy Commissioner of Detachment E, to say a few words. Allow me to offer my sincere condolences to Shaylin's family on this truly heartbreaking day. It is an honor solemnly to speak to you today on behalf of the members and the employees of the RCMP in British Columbia, but specifically in Burnaby Detachment, Shaylin's home. Shaylin was called to serve. She took our oaths and she wore our badge. These things in Constable Yang's life provide us a greater understanding of her character, and we gather to honor her life and her legacy here today. The call to serve. Many of us remember that moment when we heard the call to serve and decided to become police officers. Some believe that Shailen heard that call at a young age as she prepared herself physically by training in martial arts. She began volunteering, as you've heard, with the RCMP in December of 2014, but was almost immediately hired to work full-time in the RCMP Victim Services Unit in Richmond. Her colleagues noted that she was a great problem solver, always looking for alternatives to help someone in need. She never hesitated to attend a scene to help those who were traumatized and then follow up with them on a regular basis. She also worked with the BC Cancer Agency, but ultimately the call to serve grew louder and she was inspired to become a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. The Oaths. Shailen began her career at Depot in June of 2019. Cadet Yang, as she was known then, was noted as being quiet and reserved, but attentive. She worked hard. She was eager to train and to improve. Her sense of teamwork and working with others grew stronger. And having completed her training, and as she prepared to take her oath, her facilitators let her know that she was exactly what the RCMP was looking for. She was well positioned, as you've heard, to go as far as she possibly could in this agency. On graduation day, she took her oaths, including to faithfully, diligently, and impartially execute and perform the duties as a member of the RCMP without fear, favor, or affection. And she earned her badge. Constable Yang was excited to be posted to Burnaby Detachment. It didn't take long for her to settle in and to find her role she progressed quickly through her recruit field training and her CAPRA project focused on helping the vulnerable as she looked to help educate seniors about crime 
She developed a presentation that she delivered to senior community at care homes. She was confident, she was admired, she was calm, she was compassionate, and as you all know, she was brave. She was a valued member of Burnaby A Watch before she was seconded to the police mental health and outreach team. As you've heard, that was supposed to be only four months, but she stayed longer. She believed she had found her calling. And at one point, this led to a heated discussion between line officers, each wanting them or each wanting to keep her on their unit. Everybody wanted Shay on their team. She had an ability to connect with everyone, whether it was Corporal Jason Wong and Constable Damian Fleming on her PMOT team, the clients she worked with, her teammates on AWATCH, health, community, and city partners, and the dispatchers at Ecom. In fact, one Ecom dispatcher noted that every day that Shay was working, she would send a good morning message on her MBT and immediately ask, how can I help? What needs to be done? If you wanted a job done, you assigned it to Shay. Her PMOT team easily connected with her, keeping in touch every day, even if it was to share silly photos of their lunches. It was a family dynamic and their laughs could often be heard echoing throughout the District 3 Community Police Office, where they bonded over their shared love of food, or the barber cam where Shay Lynn would monitor her new puppy who was at home, as well as Damien's famous dad jokes. Constable Yang was a dedicated member of the Proactive Support Response Team, our peer wellness program. And at three years of service, she had already demonstrated her compassion and a true desire to support the well-being of her colleagues. She always stepped up without hesitation wherever there was a need. She was immediately identified as someone on the team who had a special way of cultivating self-care and resiliency in others and would want everyone here today to lean on their colleagues and loved ones. Do not be afraid to ask for help, to be open to support, and to take the time that you need to heal. She would put time and effort into everything she did, and she had the ability to truly connect with people, no matter who they were. Policing requires that ability to connect and to talk with people, to see them, to hear them, and we know that Shay treated everyone as an equal and with the utmost respect. And that's a lesson that we can all learn from her life. We can all respond to the call to serve, to act with integrity, to show respect, to demonstrate compassion. One doesn't have to swear an oath to ensure that your moral compass is pointed in the right direction. And for those who choose to carry a badge, we know it's more than just a piece of metal. It is a symbol of responsibility, of service, of sacrifice, a commitment to protect and to serve all, and a willingness to sacrifice oneself for another. Constable Shaylin Yang, Regimental Number 66231. You answered the call. You swore the oaths. You earned and carried your badge with pride. You wanted to make a difference, and you did. To Shaylin's family, we share your grief. And we thank you for sharing Shaylin with the RCMP family. We are so fortunate to have had her amongst our ranks and as part of our team. She made us better and stronger. We are committed to honoring her legacy, and we will never forget. Thank you.
Thank you, E-Division, pipes and drums, for the playing of Amazing Grace. I would now like to invite Constable Inder Gill, who will pay tribute to Shaylin on behalf of families and colleagues. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Constable Indra Gill, and for the past three years, I've had the honor of working with Constable Shaylin Yang. If you had told me two weeks ago that I would be up here today speaking on behalf of Shaylin, I would have broken down into tears, as so many of us did on our October 18th, 2022, the single worst day of my life. I remember as the news started to break out that I phoned my father and simply told him, it's not me. Although he could hear the sorrow in my voice as if it was. For Shaylin, she would not be able to do this for her family or for her wife. And I so dearly wish each day that this was different. Shaylin joined the RCMP in December of 2019 and was assigned to a field trainer and my dear friend, Constable Stephanie Parasato. Stephanie approached myself and a fellow colleague, Constable Gary Saran, to see if we could overwatch some of the training. This formed the basis of our work family, our family that has grown and a family that I love and hold so close to my heart and a family that Shaylin was the heart of. As many of us are aware, training another to become and develop the skills as a police officer is a monumental task and the honor of serving our communities is not one that we take lightly. Fortunately for us, Shaylin required hardly any training at all. She came to us already with the skills needed to excel. She was kind, caring, compassionate, and driven in her duty. She believed in helping others and showed this remarkably while working as a member of the Burnaby Mental Health Unit and as a member of the Proactive Support Response Unit. For Shaylin, helping others was a passion she so fiercely pursued. Over the past week, I've been honored to meet with Shaylin's family, her wife, and her wife's family. I was so happy to see that the qualities that I love about Shaylin were alive in her family, especially her wife, who she loves so much. It reaffirmed what I knew about my friend, who I hold so close in my heart. For members of the Burnaby Detachment and those gathered around us, we remain heartbroken. My friend shines so brightly and truly had an impact on everyone around her. The world has seen a mere glimpse of the person who appreciated life to its fullest and who I and my friends were privileged to see on a daily basis. I had been asked here to speak on behalf of my work colleagues, so to them I will say this. Know that you are not alone. For every call that you will attend, for every decision you will have to make, for every laugh that you will share, and for every tear that is shed, you are not alone. Shaylin is with us in our hearts, and she will forever remain in our hearts. I love you forever, my friend. Thank you for making us all a family and uniting us in our hearts. Thank you.
Thank you, Inder. A wonderful tribute. I would now ask Chaplain Tracy to come forward to offer the prayer for the RCMP. There's a term in football called broken field. This is where, when a highly ordered game descends momentarily into chaos, the players respond to the chaos as a team. As I offer a prayer for our RCMP team and police and law enforcement responders, please know, particularly to the family, that the sea of red and blue in this room will stare down the tragedy of Shailen's death and rise up to serve, as she would have wanted. Just as there are many agencies present, their goal is that of service and safety to their respective communities. There are also different faith and spiritual perspectives in our midst with a dream and desire for comfort and hope on such a day like this. Shall we pray? Our Creator, we come to you in this time of deep sorrow and sadness. We sit in this place in disbelief, in anger, in soul-crushing pain. It's not supposed to be this way. Yet we are not alone. We are not abandoned. There are many present here to help ease the pain, to lighten the load. In faith, I ask that you strengthen our RCMP policing and first responder colleagues. In faith, I ask that you continue to enable these servants to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you in your creation. In faith, I ask that all hearing this prayer may be given the capacity to bring their very best to each shift, each call, each encounter, as our sister Shay did. Calm our thoughts, comfort our spirits, and carry us through this day. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. We are now entering into a ceremony that is practiced by military and paramilitary organizations. The RCMP as a regiment respect these traditions. In a moment, you'll be asked to stand as a bugler, Constable Tim Hart, plays the last post. Last post is a traditional military call that signals the end of the day. Sentries have been posted. The camp is secure. Your duty is done. Rest in peace. Nous amorçons maintenant une cérémonie qui est pratiquée par les organisations militaires et paramilitaires. It is practiced by military organizations. The RCMP observes this tradition. In one moment, you will be asked to stand as the bugler Tim Hart Play is the last post. The last post is a military tradition that marks the end of the day. The sentries are at their post. The duties are done. We will now proceed with a section of the ceremony. Moment, in a moment, Constable. The last post. This is the traditional military post to signal the end of a day. The campus is secure. The duty is done. Pipe Major Hugh Peden of the E Division Pipes and Drums will play the lament. The lament is to symbolically demonstrate the sorrow of separation from our loved one. 
The piece of music that symbolizes the grief as we part with the last one. lament that shows the sorrow they all feel of being separated from our loved ones. The final portion of the ceremony is Réveil, again played by the bugler. Réveil is a morning call that signifies a new day, a new day for those that are left behind to carry on, as they must do. For Shailen, a new day to rise above her mortal duties. Pour clore la cérémonie, nous attendrons le réveil que jouera le clairon encore une fois. Le réveil est la sonnerie du matin qui annonce un nouveau jour, un nouveau jour pour ceux et celles qui restent afin de poursuivre leurs œuvres. Pour Shailen, c'est un nouveau jour pour son ascension au-dessus des réalités terrestres. Shailen, this marks a new beginning. The last part will be the new day. The new day, the new day tells us that a new day has arrived. For those who remain, they must live every day. Well, for Shailene, this also marks a new day for her. stand and those in uniform are asked to stand at attention.
Please be seated.
I would like to invite Chaplain Tracy to offer the commendation. J'aimerais inviter l'aumônier Tracy à offrir l'éloge. Shailen, may your love be reflected in all who you knew and continue to live on through the lives you leave behind. Your legacy is the memory of one who knew how to show up and happen to our worlds. And so, into the freedom of the wind and sunshine, we let you go. Into the dance of the moon and the stars, we let you go. Into the wind's breath and the hands of the maker of all the galaxies, we let you go. And into the sadness and the smiles of our memories, we let you go. Go safely, dear Shay, with love in your heart, and may you forever be at peace. Thank you, Chaplain Tracy. Merci. Please stand for the marching off of the Gidon.
Thank you. Please be seated. Please stand for the departure of the Bearer Party and Constable Yang's family. Veuillez vous lever pour le départ du groupe de porteurs et de la famille du gendarme Yang.
Ceci met fin au service officiel. This ends the official this service. End to the traditional service. All those in uniform are now invited to exit the venue for the final salute as the coach departs. Those in the main venue will exit out the large doors and light up starting on the west side of the building on Oval Way. Please line both sides of the road leaving the venue. Non-uniformed attendees are asked to remain inside the venue until uniform members have exited. Thank you.
I know.
moving. Where do you need? So see that mark you see on the right hand side? Yeah. And see the uh, motor officer is out there ahead of them? That area is going to be clear. Okay. 